So Blessed Silos um, is a saint from the 19th century. Uh, anybody here that was from the 19th century? <laughs> Father Steve? <laughs> Close. Father Steve had hair in the 19th century. So what's important for us regarding Blessed Silos is that he heard this gospel. And he really followed this gospel. He heard the call to be one of the servants of God. And he heard especially a call to the priesthood. He was originally from Bavaria, Germany, Germany but eventually came to the United States and worked with St. John Newman to help to evangelize the United States. And he was what we call an itinerant preacher, meaning he went all over the place preaching the good news that Jesus lived and died and rose again and is with us now, with us now. And eventually he came to New Orleans, and that's where it's really special for us because that's in our backyard, very close. And it says to us it's possible to be one of God's blessed, one of God's special people. And so we have a relic of, of his, in the altar, on the altar, reminding us that heaven is with us, that God's love is with us. And we touch heaven when we have, especially one of the special blessed or saints with us in our midst. And so we honor him in a very special way today on his feast day as one of the new blessed people that we believe are with God in heaven. And his cause for sainthood is continuing, so he'll, hopefully, God willing, he'll be canonized as a saint. In, but right now, we call him blessed and one of God's very special priests and people. And so he preached in all of the area of Louisiana, and he preached, I don't know if he came to Mississippi. Did he come to Mississippi at all? Okay. Never was stationed here in Mississippi. But he is a sign to us of God's call to each and every one of us. And God's call to us is to be a people of, that believe heaven is with us, that believe love is with us, that believe God's love is with us. And God's love is with every single one of us. Now, I had one of those moments this morning, uh, and it's one of those that you never know is coming. Hi, choir. You never know, God, what's happening. And so this morning I got up and I had some allergies I have to deal with, and I sneezed, okay? Bishops do sneeze, by the way. <laughs> you didn't know that. I sneezed, and I ended up with a bloody nose. Have you ever had one of those mornings where it's a bloody nose? Or a bloody face day? Or a bad hair day? And those are days when we're really called to look in the mirror and say, it's not about the bloody nose that it's really about God's love in our lives and that God loves us very much. And yes, it's a sign of our humanity and a little bit of our weakness as humans, but it's also a sign that, that we, are, we are in God's hands and God is going to guide us and lead us. And God will give us whatever strength we need or whatever he is calling us to, to be who he is calling us to be. And today, he's calling me to be bishop at St. Patrick's School in Mississippi. No hurricanes, Lord. No hurricanes. No hurricanes. We're going to be on a last name basis if we get a hurricane, Lord. Okay. So we pray that his love will truly surround us and we will be able to speak his love today. So, the question becomes, how did Blessed Silos speak his love? And how do we speak this love? And it's really a simple answer. You all know what it is. All right? He has called us to love. And he gave us two great commandments. And the two great commandments are, on the tip of your tongue, love God and love your neighbor, simply put. And then also love yourself. When you look in the mirror and you realize you have a bloody nose, Love yourself. 
So love God with your whole heart and soul and mind and strength and love your neighbor as yourself. Those are the two great commandments that he gives us. And he calls us to truly love one another. So, first question, in loving one another, who's the other you are called to love? Who's the other? Yeah, the folks sitting next to you, you're called to love. Yep, 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 even him. <laughs> yep, even her. Yep, love one another. Also, love on your teachers today. If you didn't bring an apple to school, it's okay. All right? But you can tell them, thank you. You can tell them, I love you. And then, who out of your classmates today really needs you. They may have had a bloody nose morning this morning. Hi, I had a bloody nose. You get to love on me all day today. <laughs> and then when you go home, the invitation is to continue that love and to let that love be shown to your brothers and sisters. Yes, your little brother. Yes, your little <laughs> sister. Love them. And then, when you're, if your parents are coming in from work, or your grandparents, or whoever you're with, and you tell them you love them, it's going to be a wonderful moment because they're going to pass out on the floor. <laughs> so share with them your love. And today, as we gather to celebrate this Eucharist, and it is a wonderful, heavenly moment. Because we are surrounded, all of us, by the saints and those that we call blessed. So blessed Silos is here with us. All the saints are with us. It's a blessed moment, it's a heaven moment when we are touched by God. That's what we mean by love God with our whole heart and soul and mind and strength. This is a moment for us together as a group, St. Patrick's School, to share in the love of God which calls us to be in service, all of us to be his witnesses to the world. Because he sent his disciples out to speak the good news that he's alive and he's in our midst and he loves us and he walks with us. That's a wow moment that he's alive, he's in our midst and he loves us and he's with us here. And in just a moment, we're gonna celebrate the Eucharistic part of the mass and he'll be present on the altar for us. And as we receive Holy Communion, or as we receive spiritual communion, it is a moment for us to be touched by Jesus, to let his love really come into our hearts and touch us and help us to be his disciples because he's sending us forth today. <coughs> On campus here, not off campus yet. The school bell rings later today and <coughs> off campus. So we pray today in a special way through the intercession of blessed Silos, that we may truly be witnesses of Jesus today as we love one another and as we love our God together. <laughs>